<laughs> All right, y'all. I'm going to get back on the splitter because the last time, I don't think that little microphone worked. I think y'all can still be able to hear me this time. This is a piece of the oak I just saw up over there. Gotta get it open and let that air hit it. This is the best burning oak wood it is. This is white oak. When you're playing cards and they uh they you cut, people tell you I'm gonna cut thin to win. It's the same thing for this wood. The thinner you cut it, the less time it takes for it to dry. Like oak oh, will take a whole pile of years just to dry that one inch. So if you uh Want your wood to be seasoned in two years, then you cut it to two inches. And it should be able to dry all the way through. But, you know, when people are burning wood in a fireplace, sometimes they want nicer, bigger chunks. So, I mean, that's a hit or miss. You got to know your customer, know what they want before you start splitting. And then you give them something that they don't want, they won't buy from you again. They'll tell you, oh, it was nice and this and the other. But when it comes time for them to order another 
third of a quarter or whatever. They'll go looking. But they'll get exactly what they want. So, I mean, this is the business you in. You got to know your customers. Know what they want. Because the customer is always right. Chris from in the wood yard, he always says, you know, I know what my customers want. They want wood that they can pick up with their hand. A woman or somebody, a child can pick this wood up in their hand and it's not too heavy for them. That's what they want. You know, you got people out there that's got plenty of wood and they say they don't have time to bust it down like they're supposed to or whatever because they got volume. But me, I got plenty of time. So when a person called me for a load of wood, I asked them all those questions. What are you going to use it for? And where are you going to be burning it? If you're burning it in your house, I might cut it a little bigger. <coughs> but I try not to supply people who are burning wood for heating because I'm going to tell you like this. If they want to heat, they want it cheap. Which you can't blame a person. You know, if they're going to use it for heat, they want it cheap. If they're just using it for recreation, the sky's the limit. They don't care how much it costs as long as they can drink their beer and uh, have social time with their family out at their fire pit. Sometimes they don't care how much it costs. But they do want it to be dry. So That's what I try to do. I try to get them dry wood. It's been amazingly warm this year here in Virginia. It's, I, I swear it feels like it's 70 some degrees here right now. And I ain't never seen this. Maybe in my past when I was younger, maybe. But in my adult life, I have never seen it this warm in November in Virginia. So, because Virginia will fool you. One day it's, it's, uh, it's warm, the next day it'll be cold and rainy. But here lately, it's been just unusually warm, I guess. Stand the wind, stand the wind. That's a nice piece of wood, flat. Good for stacking.
I just got the makings of a very good video today. The sun's out. The backdrop is nice. So, I want to know if you enjoyed this video today or not. I know it's a little monotonous, but everybody's got a niche. This is mine, so I hope you join and come along. A lot of people just like to watch other people work. I found that out since I've been on YouTube. Because when I go back to my videos, a lot of the ones where I'm talking, don't nobody want to hear that. But when I'm out cutting grass or mowing and stuff, weed eating, and not talking, everybody loves that. So that's what I try to put out for people. Watch me work. That might even be the name of this video, I don't know.
as I'm throwing it over here, there's a pile of oak right there. And I'm going to take that up to at least four or five foot tall. And that's next year's wood, y'all. So I'm going to end up stacking all of that. And you guys will see me build that up. Oh, this piece of heavy. And then next fall, you'll see me taking that off of the pile. But I want to show the entire process of what I do. When people say, is the wood season? I say, yeah. It, it's been out there on that rack since October or November of 2024. Since some of it is almost already dry, it shouldn't take no more than a year for this stuff to season out. So half the time when it's cut, it's already dead. But, you know, there's a whole lot of gurus out there that tell you, oh, it takes two years. Yeah, if you just cut the tree down and uh, it still had leaves on it, it's going to take about two years for the season all the way out. But if it was already dead, when you cut it and no sap was in it or whatever, it won't take that long. And uh, like I said, this year it's been warm all the way up to now. So this this stuff should be ready next year to say it. Either way, if it's not, I got an oak stash back there. I know for a fact that's been back there for two years. Uh, I just took some off of it the other day. And it was pretty much less than 20% moisture. More like 10% moisture in that oak back there by my pickup truck. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you can't reinvent the wheel when you're doing this stuff. You know, people, they, I think, are pretty greedy. They want to get a kiln and dry it up faster so you can get more money. Like I said, it ain't about the money for me. I like the product, the quality that I get from grinding naturally. I'm not going to go out there and sell somebody some green wood. Also, I can pay in my pocket. The good Lord takes real good care of me. The Bible says, I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. I ain't begging nobody for nothing. So, that should tell you a lie. I just enjoy what I do. And if you like watching somebody work, then you should be a subscriber. Because that's mostly what you're going to see on here with Curtis. I'm either going to work, finishing work, prepping for work. Or something like that. That's what I do. And the end results always come out good when you're prepared. 